guys let's get into it you know i don't waste no time getting into my videos i'm showing you guys how to do these large knotless box braids all right so it's about 18 braids in my head i used i believe six packs of braiding hair regular kanekalon braiding hair nothing special no cutting packs in half none of that just the regular braiding hair packs that come individual so i basically i don't know i got tired of my hair i need something to do so this is what it was so in the beginning i of course i had to stretch my hair because this this is different from my natural box braids you don't really have to stretch your hair but it makes parting and everything way easier especially if you have thick hair like moi so i'm gonna separate everything into four sections i'm gonna blow dry my hair on a low setting and i'm just gonna stretch it out a bit it doesn't have to be straight just so that everything is clear and your hair is like you know not straightened but you know just blown out so nothing crazy so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna let you guys see how i blow dry my hair obviously from the ends to the roots and i'm gonna do each section so yeah be gentle with your hair you see that like gentle gentle if it's not going through put the blow dryer down finger detangle it because i know y'all be playing your hair through a rough ride sometimes and it's not okay it's not okay so you know i'm a finger detangle pick up the blow dryer keep it pushing if you want your hair to be long beautiful not need to cut it every like three months like the rest of the world does then you have to be gentle with your hair also you have to put it away if you have hair like me and you're frustrated I swear I rarely ever like have my hair out because I don't want to deal with it. I want it to grow. I don't want to touch it. It gets on my freaking nerves. I never know what I'm going to get each day when I wake up and ain't nobody got time for that. Hence why I'm braiding it right freaking out. all right yes baby we are done i look crazy i know that's why i made my eyes like that just now but um yeah so we're done with the blow drying part and now parting it's time for parting you know i'm gonna just show you guys how my hair really looks going out it's you know somewhat thin once i add heat to my hair it gets thinner and it's annoying so i'd rather keep the volume and do natural styles and hide it and stuff so i'm gonna um part it part my hair in half from ear to ear because this is a larger section i'm gonna do three sections in the back and yeah you'll see exactly exactly how i do it if you don't really understand i'm gonna part it in half like i just said and then i'm gonna part it into three the back portion is gonna be three rows So parting is very, very complicated. For me, it is at least. Parting your own hair is complicated. If I could have just asked somebody to come up in here, part my hair in half, make sure it's straight, easy, simple, it would have cut me, cut my time in half. But I don't like asking people for help. I do my styles myself. It's not that serious. Like if it's actually 15 minutes, I'm not gonna die. So I just, you know, push through that. I think when you're doing your own styles, you have to push through the annoyance of having to repart. Maybe sometimes you have to redo a braid, but if you want it to look good, like your little sister didn't do it, then I suggest you take that time and make it look fire because I mean, you're saving money. You may spend a little extra time, but time and money, mm -mm, no, it's better to spend more time than to spend more money. So spend that time. So I'm just making sure that part is super crisp and mm, it doesn't really get as straight as I like it to be because I'm a perfectionist, but it gets pretty straight for me to be doing my own hair. 
So I'm gonna part that in half and then I'm gonna continue to part the, the back portion of my head how I would like it. All right, all right, so that back, this row that I'm parting right now is gonna be my first section of hair that I'm gonna braid. So I'm parting that off and then I'm gonna continue to part two more sections because like I said, three rows in the back Basically, I know it looks humongous, but it really depends on your head. I believe you can part this much with anyone. They're large, knotless box braids. So, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of hair because it's large. But this style honestly should take about two hours if someone else is doing it for you. For me, it took about four hours, including parting and everything, because I just be wanting everything to look bomb fire and then i did make a few mistakes but i'm gonna show you guys they're minor mistakes nothing crazy like this video is still a credible source okay like keep watching because this is how you're gonna do it if you want it to look good if you want it to be simple easy you know chef's kiss then continue watching this video So whenever you are doing any style on yourself, it is very, very important to um, pre-part, pre-part it. Don't try to sit there and braid it. Like I have a lot of hair. My hair is really, really thick. So I have to pre-part or I may start braiding and then realize that my parting or a roll wasn't how I wanted it to be. So I may have to go back and fix it. And that is very annoying. So I'd rather pre-part, check the parts as I'm doing it so that it just saves me time and headache so definitely i suggest pre-parting no matter what if you're doing your own style pre-part it it's not that big of a deal it takes a little time but if you want it to be perfect pre-part it stop playing like do what you gotta do Okay, so you guys see me um, measuring with my comb. I feel like this is very important. It's like measuring with the teeth of your comb is like, it'll help you out a ton because you're parting your hair by yourself to make sure that you're doing the right increments or make sure that everything's parted the same. Yes, using a comb is very important. At least try to learn how to do it. And um, yeah, I mean, definitely it helps a ton. If you like this is pre-parting I have done a pre-parting video for smaller like medium size box braids mm, yeah I don't know they're small medium it's really up to whoever's looking at them because to me they're kind of small but everybody else said they're like small medium so it is what it is anyways I have a parting video of that it is on my YouTube channel I separated my parting video from my braiding video um yeah so if you want to see how to part your hair for big big <laughs> what for bigger knotless braids then go check that out if you just want to see this then i guess continue watching but i am going to put my other videos link in my description so you guys can look at it if you would like this video i did combine the parting and the braiding just because i simply did not feel like splitting it up so yeah if you want to skip and see the braiding then you can skip and see the braiding if you want all right so you're going to see me check again to make sure the parting is the same 
the length is the same as the back and it is it's very close so that's very very good so i'm going to continue to part when you're parting box braids in general you want to make sure it's like a staircase effect so you want to make sure that the the following braid on the upper row above the one that you just completed is like laying perfectly you want to make sure that it covers the line of the other one so that when your hair is down it falls flawlessly so you just want to do that so that's basically what i'm doing you want to make sure the parts do not line up you don't want your parts to line up you want to part the second one in the middle of the bottom one so you see how i'm doing a part right there and the bottom part is directly under but the part is not visible for the bottom row if you get what i'm saying like you see what i'm doing just do that honestly please it'll help you so much you don't want your parts to line up because you will look crazy you want it to stagger and lay nicely so i'm gonna do four parts in the top i did three on the bottom that it makes perfect sense if you want it to lay properly you can do not do the same amount of parts on the bottom as you do on the second row it just won't make sense and it won't look pretty cute flawless like the professional did it because you want to look like you went to a salon you know you want to look like somebody did it you want people to ask you who did your hair and you to be able to say me but i can't do yours period you know okay so parting my hair in half does help but i did figure that sectioning out the front would help to cut down the time and everything rather than waiting until i parted the entire back portion and then coming back to do that it really didn't matter same time same difference so i just parted out the front portion to line up with my back portion of my hair super simple super easy and that's basically it guys if you want your parts to be super perfect you just need two mirrors honestly and to be very patient your hair is if it means anything to you you will definitely take that time do it on a day off it won't take that long you have to be patient you have to teach yourself like but i will honestly say doing the smaller box braids is way easier than doing the large ones because if you want to do large box braids you have to at least know how to tuck your hair under the braid or be able to like hide it a bit with the smaller box braids you kind of have a little bit of a leeway but if you mess up on one braid doing the large ones that one braid is gonna stand out because you only got like 10 braids in your head so yeah I know most people would be like, oh, doing the larger ones is easy. It is parting wise. It is time wise. But um, as far as a look, if you mess up on a braid, it's going to be noticeable as hell. So don't sit there and try to like shortcut it or nothing. Just take your time and, you know, try to make it look the best you can. Okay, so this part right here drove me crazy because I really, really, really wanted it to keep that staggered, you know, effect looking, but my head is really small and I could not make the part smaller because it would have looked crazy once I was done. So, I mean, it kind of did annoy me, but there was nothing I could do about it. I'm going to figure out something for the next time that I do it, but honestly, that was my only mistake throughout my entire parting, you know, and everything. So... Um, yeah, I guess just be careful. Try to keep everything staggered and staircased or whatever. But I mean, besides that, everything went flawlessly. I do definitely love these braids. They're way easier than doing like 78 goddamn braids in my head. Time consuming. Like basically the time to do these was like a third of what it takes to do smaller knotless braids. And I can definitely appreciate that. So yeah like try it if you want
All right, all right, so we're almost there. The way I part my middle part is I line it up with my nose and then I like kind of cut my nose in half and I just continue up my forehead to make sure that the middle part aligns with my nose because your nose is at the center of your head so it only makes sense to line it up with that. So at the top I do four braids total. So both halves of that section is four braids completely. It's amazing. Super simple, super easy. I will honestly say I, re I parted my hair twice. I don't usually do jumbo braids. I'm not really too fond of them. I feel like they don't last as long. Honestly, once my hair hits that fuzzy stage after about two weeks, I'm ready to take it out. But typically, I push myself to about a month because I'm like, sis, you spent time. You be having to treat your hair with apple cider vinegar because you're allergic to Kanekalon hair. And that's a lot of work. If anybody is allergic and you have had to treat your hair, you know that takes time. You gotta let the hair dry like Come on now, the average person that's not allergic does not have to do all that. So I do typically try to push about a month out of each braiding hairstyle. Super hard. Um, yeah, I don't know if this one gonna last. I still have it in right now, but it's been about two weeks and your girl is bored. So yeah, you guys might see me with another video up of how to do something completely different. You'll know. But um, yeah, so my parting was very good. The back portion, the row under this did annoy me a bit because... I, it didn't staircase right like my head is small but I have a lot of hair and it just did not look the way I wanted it to but I mean at the end I got a ton of compliments people love my hair so that's nice but on the inside I know I could have did better I don't know how I could part it next time better but that parting just it pisses me off a bit okay so now it's time to do the braiding so we're gonna put some eco styling gel in my hair and we're gonna smooth it through to make everything lay down really really smooth and I'm just doing that all around all four corners of my head and I'm gonna push it through too and I'm gonna add some edge control also and yeah we're just gonna smooth all of that through and then you saw me comb my hair before it's very important to comb your hair through to make sure there's no tangles and still adding more oh, well, i actually think i added some coconut oil eventually i stopped doing that because the mixture of the products was just nasty on my hands so i'm gonna do all of that and i'm gonna start braiding so i braid one time and then I add in the hair. Some people do two times. If you're doing thick braids, it's hard to do that. And then you braid over once and then you add in another piece of hair. And then you add in another piece of hair. So total that was three pieces of hair. Throughout me braiding my hair, you'll notice that I'll add either three or four depending on like the thickness so as you're braiding if you braid continuing from here and a strand is just poking out your hair too much you can always like backtrack a few plaits and add in another um amount of hair so that definitely works right now my hands are like super tangled because i don't know sometimes the hair gets super tangled and it's annoying so i'm just gonna straighten that out and then i'm gonna continue braiding all the way down so typically 
when I'm braiding my hair I braid the first plait all the way down to the very end and then once I get to the end I just finish off the braid and for the that is basically my like my layout for the following braids that I do so I'm gonna continue to show you guys this method and hopefully you guys can follow. If you need a more detailed video, of course, you can put it in the comments that that's what you need and I could definitely do a very slow down version of me doing like one large braid so that everyone can see and get a like very firm understanding on it. Okay, so we're gonna do it again, adding the edge wax to the end of my hair. And I'm gonna add the Eco Style Gel to the roots all around the four parameters of my hair. I'm gonna smooth it through. I'm gonna use a fine tooth comb to comb it so that everything's like super detangled and straight. And then I'm gonna start plaiting. So I'm gonna do over one. And then for this one, I did two. And then I'm gonna add in the strand to one side, plait once, add in another strand, and I'm gonna plait again. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna add in the final plait, the final piece of hair right here. Right now I'm just sectioning it out so that it's the correct thickness. And I'm just gonna add that in, I'm gonna braid and yeah so cool so when you're adding in the last plot you want to make sure that it's like a little well for the back you don't have to really worry but once you get closer to the front of your head you'll have to make sure that it's like the end of the hair ends with the last braid so typically i pull the back braid to the front and then i'll just you know continue to braid and try to see if it's at least even out if you finish the braid and it's just not close enough or you can tell you can literally tell before even ending the braids when they're all lined up together and you're braiding to the end if it's going to end where the longest braid is and you can just add in some hair at the end there's no specific point where you can add in hair you can add a little bit so that the ends like it just has to be a small piece of hair so that it ends perfectly and it looks very very you know in tune all together in sync Alright, so I'm back again, adding the Eco Style Gel to all four sides. And yeah, so doing that, adding it to the end. I think I stopped using the edge wax. I don't know, honestly, mixing products, like I'm super sensitive to stuff like that, like textures and stuff. So I did just stop using it and then I started combing through my hair. And then I'm just going to braid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna braid it, we do one plait, and then we're gonna add in the extension, and then braid one more plait, and then we're gonna add in the extension again. And we're gonna braid one again, and then I think that's two. Okay, three. Whoa. Yeah, I did three. I don't know why I did that there. And then I added in another one. So, yeah, right now I'm like trying to stretch it with my knees. Like, if you ever braided your hair, you know the struggle. So, I'm adding that in, and then I'm gonna continue to braid down. And yeah, so basically, that's it. And it looks really good. My, my hair thickness kind of like covers up for the fact that I did like three plaits down. Typically I do one, 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 and I'm adding in hair which each with each, like the first three plaits. But this time I did not, but it still looks magnificent. So I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm tucking my hair 
in the hair so basically I tuck it in and I pull the hair around so you kind of want your hair to be in the middle of the extension each time you braid so I'm just making sure I do that and then you know I'm just braiding all the way down I basically braid like half of the braid in the front I do get a little lazy and I just do like a fourth but still like you braid it down so like you can do the ends at the end typically I do the ends and I'm like watching Netflix you know the originals if you ain't watch vampire diaries and originals hit that up while you braid in super like chill if you're into that type of vampire crap so yeah i put that on and that's what i do so yeah okay, almost there just two more braids you know so honestly this style to do somebody else's hair should only take about two hours for me it took like five usually it'll probably take me four if i were to do it again but um what really happened was i don't usually braid my hair this thick and the parting drove me insane so yeah i was just really doing the freaking most and i was stressing myself out but um yeah so it's way faster than doing the other braids and yeah i just i like it better overall but it doesn't last as long like right now i have had them in for about two weeks and i'm going to take them out because i'm over it like um my hair is a really soft gray so it looks really really like fuzzy right now so yeah it's time for something new all right it's the last braid so it's the last time you're going to see me do this unless of course you want to watch the video over again please feel free to so i'm gonna do one plat and then i'm gonna do two and before I finish that last one, I'm going to add in another piece, a piece of hair. I'm going to do one plait. Then I'm going to add in another piece of hair. And the earlier you start adding in the hair, the more realistic it's going to be because these braids are bigger, like thicker than my hair actually is. So, of course, if I was to add it in later, it would have looked ridiculous. So it's best to do the add the first strand in with the after the first or the second plait. If you go any further than that, you're going to re regret it, I promise you. So yeah so i'm just plotting down i believe yeah that's it um so they look super neat to me for this to be my first time doing them the only thing i would definitely do different next time is not use gel instead just use um dr murray's beeswax because my hair is really curly and the gel made it curl up i do wish it was a little more slicked down but um i'll probably show i'll probably do these again with just the beeswax and come back with a a compare contrast video or something like that so you know um, just make sure you tuck your hair if you're not tucking your hair with this style it's going to look crazy it's going to look crazy so um, yeah I'm just gonna keep braiding 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 and then I'm gonna come back to show you guys 
what it looks like after I done put the mousse on it and I dip the ends and I braid it all the way to the bottom, all of that, y'all about to see the finished result. You see that? They mad long, touching those cheeks. I love when my hair is long enough to touch my butt, I don't know why. So, yeah. They just look really nice, really polished, really shiny. Like, they look very neat for this to be my first time doing not this jumbo box braid. So, I think you guys should definitely try it. It'll like give you some relief with this time. Weather's weird, we're in between seasons, you know? But catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye.